CCAM Navigator is a MindSphere application which enables power grid operators to monitor the operational status of transformer stations for cable networks to optimize maintenance activities and reduce outage time. Let's look at its features. This is the map view of transformer substations. Here you can see the Google Maps, a view with all of your stations. We can add additional substations and configure a geographic topology that indicates how the substations are connected to each other. Furthermore, other primary or secondary substations can be included that are not connected to MindSphere. And here is the context of where substation markers. For example, a green marker means a CCAM A8000 RTU is operational and publishes data to the MindSphere. To build up your topology, Right-click on one station, independent if it is a station connected to MindSphere or not. Here, you can add primary or secondary substations which are not connected to the MindSphere. After entering the details, click Add Substation. New substation is added here. It is in gray color because it is not connected to MindSphere. Click the arrow to view the list of grid-wide active alarms, like fault indications, door contacts, battery monitor, etc. Here is the list view of grid-wide active alarms and events. To receive notifications via email, follow the steps shown. Click the arrow. Select the register for notification. Enter your email address and click on register to receive the email notifications you will get an email notification immediately after one of the alarms happen. In this email, you will find the name of the event, where it was, and when it was. You will also get a link directly to the application and a Google Maps link to the location of the substation. You also have an option to change the mode of the dashboard by clicking on Light Mode. Similarly, you can change it back to Dark Mode by clicking on dark mode. If you want to search any station, please type in your station name in Search Station Field and click Enter. Click on the event to identify its location on the grid view. For example, click on Motion Sensor. Here is the event location. For a station topology view, click on the substation marker. Here you can find the station details. On the left side of the UI, you can find data about the medium voltage infeed. The center provides information about the station and transformer status. On the right side, you find data about the low voltage feeders. Click on the station alarms. Here is the list of station alarms configured in CCAM A8000. Click on the highlighted area to view the station information. Here, you will find the asset-related information. Click on the cards to view all recent medium voltage measured values configured in the CCAM A8000. It displays the fault direction indications as reported by CCAM FCMs and CCAM FPIs, or third-party fault indicators. Here, you can find all recent measured values which are configured in CCAM A8000 for medium voltage and temperature measurements for the transformer. Scroll down to view the other data points of medium voltage. Click on the bus bar cards to view all recent low voltage measured values configured in the CCAM A8000. Here you can find all recent measured values which are configured in CCAM A8000 for low voltage and temperature measurements. Scroll down to view the other data points of low voltage. To observe the measurements over the time, click the Detail button. Here, you can set the specific time range and view the measurement values of voltage, current, and temperature accordingly. Scroll down to view more. Let's quickly try to recall the features and benefits of CCAM Navigator. CCAM Navigator monitors grid and asset utilization, enables fast fault location, reduces outage duration, 
facilitates condition monitoring and offers secure access. Siemens, ingenuity for life.